Hello everybody, welcome back to today's video. Today we're checking out the plugin Ultimate Auto Restart. This is a free plugin here at MT Market, so we're gonna check out what it does and everything, so let's get started. All right, first of all, thank you to the developer for reaching out to me and letting me do a tutorial video on this plugin. I really appreciate it when all developers reach out and want me to do plugin tutorials. It helps the channel, it helps the plugins, everybody's happy, all that good stuff. So there's been 510 downloads on this, and you have almost a five-star, almost full five-star rating, which is great, so a lot of people like your plugin. Um, some of the features is you can configure the commands you want to run when restart's happening, so if you have a restart script, it will auto-restart with that. You can execute bungee or bucket commands seconds before the restart. You can execute commands for your bungee network. You can create un infinite restart schedules. So if you want to restart Friday at 2300 hours, you can do that. If you want to restart Friday at 12 hours, there you go. You can choose at what intervals messages and sounds will be sent. You can choose between action bars, titles, and chat messages. And you can set commands for your players to check when the restart happens. And you, it supports placeholder API for the tabs and everything. We'll take a look at the configuration in a moment. The commands and permissions. So you has the permission um, which allows you to show the admin menu. Um, but n And then normal players can do auto restart to see when it's going to be restarting. You can do auto restart now and set a time. You can auto restart stop. So if it's if you set a time for like two minutes or something, and it's starting the countdown, it will. You can stop it with select auto restart stop. You can reload configure files, and you can see the version. If you have placeholder API installed, you can use these two on your scoreboards or in chat messages or anything. So if you want, like, to, if you type uh, something on the scoreboard and it shows up, you can show that as well. If you have hologram, the holographic extension and placeholder API, you can use holograms with it and then inside um how you can re use the restart entries is you can do settings restart we'll take a look at this in a minute and you can set the different restart times of the things um and then there's a bunch of different uh, faqs and everything um so you know that's pretty cool so let's open up the configure file and we'll take a look here so it gives you a lot of information here you have a support discord you got resources mc market resources all this good stuff um, so here's some of the notes. All restarts must follow the day, hour, minute. So Friday, 23 hours, zero minutes. We'll create a uh, restart or at Fridays at 2300 or 11 p.m. Valid days entries are Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Message intervals are at 180, uh, 1,800 seconds is 30 minutes. So it's by seconds. So make sure to do it by seconds rather than um, minutes and all that stuff. And you can set for bungee commands. All you have to do is put the bracket bungee bracket, and then you can um, run a command. Uh, for general stuff, you can set the time. Like if you want it to run five minutes before, time um, time in seconds or in minutes. Um, it would be in seconds in this case. So time, like 60 seconds, run this command or something. And then you also have the bungee cord. You can delay those commands as well. Um, so by default, what it has set up is it will restart every single day at 11 p.m. And it will save the world and restart with the command restart. The messages will send at every um, 30 minutes, I believe this is. So it runs at 30, uh, 60 minutes, 30 minutes, uh, 3 minutes, 2 minutes, 1 minute. Um, and it will send a sound. You can set the sound. So if you diff use different Minecraft versions, you can change the sound here. And you can set the sound intervals as well. By default, it's the same as the message intervals. Your format, you can set the format for seconds, uh, second, minutes, minutes, hour, hour, splitter, etc. And all the messages are configurable in the config. And you can also toggle update notifications and debug if you need it. So inside the game here, we're going to go into the game. And you can see if you type slash auto restart, it pops up this little uh, menu here. You can either do, it shows all the available commands, the build you're running, so you have your version number in here. And of course, you can type slash auto restart or AR version to see the exact versions and if you have an update available. So, um, let's get started. Uh, developer watching this, there's this extra space in between here you may want to fix, just noting that. Alright, so why don't we restart the server in 60 seconds. So you force started a auto restart in 60 seconds. Ignore this weird symbol here. It's the correct symbol here in the um, menu, but my spigot is custom and it's um, set up so it doesn't send those types of uh, messages. So it is sent a auto restart in 60 seconds. So once it reaches 30 seconds, we'll probably see a uh, message pop up depending on um, what we had set in the config. 
So I can do slash AR stop, of course, and there's the message. So I went ahead and stopped the manually stopped the scheduled restart, and it said a restart would happen in 30 seconds. So I can do slash AR restart or AR now five seconds. So interval five. So it's going to restart in three, two, one. And you can see in the chat right before we left, it saved the game and it ran the restart script in here. So you can see I don't have the correct um, sound name and my sound name's not compatible with my Minecraft version. Though, if you set this up like 100% and you change the sound in here to your Minecraft version, it would be the correct Minecraft version. Now, as I don't have a start.sh script or a restart script on the server, it won't auto restart for me because I disabled that feature on my server. But if you add a restart script or you add or you use a panel or something, it probably already has it. And it would auto restart and you will join in and the next restart will be whenever you set it next. So in this case, it would be on the next day at 11 p.m. And of course, we can run commands. So if we want to run commands, let's say time. So let's do time 15 seconds before the restart. And we want it to say, say noodles are the best. Something like that. We save. We can go into the game, do RA reload um so this won't the only thing it won't do is add any new restart entries so you must restart your server for that but it does configure the changes you make to the config other than that and i'm going to do slash ar now and we'll make it 30 seconds and we'll see if it has successfully added our message we want it to say unless slash say isn't a command i think it is on here yes it is so we'll see if it successfully works now um when we reach the 15 second mark it should be any second from now I can't count, apparently. In my brain. I think it goes by the actual time. I'm counting too quickly. <laughs> but anyway, this plugin is pretty cool, and I do recommend downloading it if you have the time and checking out and if you need auto restarts and stuff. Um, so it did not do the command correctly, and I'm guessing it's because I actually have to restart the server, like it said, and I only reloaded it. So we'll go ahead and restart the server now, and we'll join back in and test again. But... Um, one thing I did notice about the plugin is it's really well updated and stuff. There's a lot of updates that happen and all of that good stuff. So, if of course, and I've also been in contact with the author for the past few days, and I've been very happy with what I've seen so far in terms of the support and the, the updates and everything. There you go. So I did have to restart for it to say it. At 15 seconds, it says noodles are the best, and I'll just go ahead and cancel the restart just like that but very nice job on the setup of the plugin and everything very very nice plugin i do recommend checking it out if you have the time the link is in the description below um thank you to the developer for letting me review the plugin i will get another review out for your other plugin you want me to review some point this week as well so more plugin tutorials coming everybody if you want a plugin reviewed as well make sure to leave it down in the comments below i'll see you tomorrow goodbye